real niggas She don't know no boss She don't know about foreign cars She don't know what that cost She don't know Yeah! <laughs> What's up, Facebook? It's your boy Smitty, man. Back with another video, man. Um, well, one of my first videos on this page was an orientation video. Um, I had to take that down. Uh, it was copyrighted. Uh, the music. Um, like I said, I'm new to this, and uh, um, the music. I, I had playing with first of all it was too loud and and I played the whole song and all that good stuff. So anyway type of orientation uh for Prime. Uh this video is gonna be about maybe ten to thirteen minutes long. So uh, here we go. So come for orientation for Prime uh be prepared uh, study before you come. Uh, don't get your permit. Um, Prime is going to, uh, if you get your permit before you're going to Prime, you're going to have to get another permit. Like, take it again for Prime in Missouri. Um, so don't get your permit. Study for it and know everything. So when you get here, um, uh, you can get it, uh, quick. Um, orientation is a week. They expect you to get your permit within two days, two and a half days. Um, after that week, if you don't get it, <coughs> they give you the boot. Uh, there could be, um, some understandings and whatnot, but after that week, if you do, if you can't get your permit within seven days, there's a problem. Either you're just not getting it, or you're not studying, or you're just down or out lazy. All right, so study before you come. Um, second of all, uh, if you are married and have kids, make sure you have the support for your family. Or being out here is going to be horrible. Your first week in an orientation will be horrible because you're, you're not getting supported by your family. Make sure your family is supporting you when you are out here on the road, my wife, she supports me 150 million percent. Uh, that's why she's coming on the road with me uh, soon. So um, you'll be seeing her too, right there. You'll be seeing her. <laughs> but anyway, uh, make sure you have the support. Um, it gets lonely out here. Um, and it sucks. I'm telling you one thing. Your first six months to a year are going to suck. Well, I'd say your first six months are going to suck. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. Uh, you're going to worry. You're going to worry about bills at home. You're going to worry about your wife and your kids at home. Now, if you just have a wife, it's a little easier. Um, but having kids, I don't have kids, but I know it's 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 hard. Um, so. Um, Get that mutual agreement uh, with the family. All right. Third of all, um, um, you can't be lazy. Just seen uh, uh, Jay the Flat Better. Go check him out on YouTube. Jay the Flat Better. He is a prime employee too and a trainer. Um, just seen his video about his last student. Uh, it's no longer with the company because they're lazy. Um, laziness is not a <laughs> real quick. So don't be lazy. Come here to work. Come here to grind. Come and make money. It's a career. This isn't a, this isn't a regular nine to five job. This is a career. So get it done. You feel me? Um, we're all grown men. We're all grown women. Get it done. If you want to play games, all the good stuff, this ain't for you. If you can't be away from the home, OTR ain't for you. If you can't be away from home for no more than three to four weeks, this ain't for you. This ain't for you. Um, it ain't for you. You got to make your truck as comfortable as you can make it. Knowing it, making it feel like you're at home. Anyway, I'm going to topic. 
So, anyway, let's get to the process now. So, uh, you, you put application in, and you don't have a CDL yet, so I'm going to go through the whole process. So, you put your application in, and um, a recruiter will call you up within one to two days. Uh, with application, you'll put in all your information. Um, if you have, um, if you have any open warrants, they're not going to take it. If you have, uh, if your license are messed up, they're not going to, they're not going to take you. Um, um, and that, excuse me. And that's all I know. Ask all, if you have things that you want to ask, I'm talking about from a, Speeding ticket up to if you were a freaking felon, I don't know. Tell your recruiter, ask your recruiter all the questions. Before they go down the process of getting you in here, ask all the questions. Um, don't do drugs. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, they do drug tests. They, they, they do drug tests. They do drug test. I don't care if you think that you can get around that. Prime don't play. All right. So anyway, you'll do that. And then you will, uh, if you pass all that and everything clears off, they'll ask you, hey, when you go, when you want to come to orientation, come as soon as possible. You're trying to get this on the road and you're trying to, um, get things rolling. So, once they set that date up for you, get your butt to orientation. You'll get on a bus, a Greyhound bus, or you can fly here. Um, when you fly here, that's off you, your expense. Uh, just so, just take the bus. It's free. It may suck a couple of days, but it's free. Um, when you're on that bus and you, and you have a smartphone, just be studying. Study your, study um, the permit test. Study. Study it, study it, study it. In your free time, study it. There's so much material on, um, the web. Study. Study your pre-trip. Study, study, study your pre-trip. Now, um, yeah, you study your pre-trip, study, uh, combinations, study, uh, your air brake, study your general knowledge, all that stuff is going to be on the permit test. And if you study it, you'll get it within two days. So when you get here, um, they'll drop you off at the Greyhound. Somebody from Prime will come pick you up in a van or a bus, a little mini bus, and take you to Campus Inn. Campus Inn is Prime's own hotel that has a lot of rooms so you'll do that uh most likely you'll get there on a sunday orientation starts on monday a lot of the students will get there on saturday or sunday orientation starts on a monday um and prime is they are uh how should i say it they are um organized they are very organized they give you a sheet times when you got to be there to certain classes you'll go do a lot of paperwork you'll do a lot of computer work you'll get a lot of information but the main thing is, is a go to prime with an open mind not going there like, like you know everything i don't care what your daddy did or or if your mom was the driver or your granddad was the driver you're coming to prime brand new, don't know how to drive a truck, even if you know how to drive a truck, come here with an open mind, knowing that you don't know how to drive diddly squat, okay? Um, if you come here like that, with open mind, you'll be good. So you'll come to orientation, your first couple of days, you'll be doing um, a computer work to get your permit. Um, after that, you'll be going out to the pad. The pad is you learn how to you learn how to straight back. You'll know how to alley dock. You had you know how to do all the backing, uh, shifting gears, all that good stuff. Um, after that, uh, you'll go to PSD, Prime Student Driver, and you'll meet your trainer. Um, your trainer will basically 
interview you to see if you guys are on the same page or see if he wants to take you. I didn't do PSD because I got my license before I came. There's a difference between license and permit. I got my full license before I came. Don't come here with a permit or they're going to tell you to take it over again, the permit. If you come here with a license, you won't have to do the PSD stays. I mean, prior to the driver. So you'll, you'll meet your trainer and you'll do all that good stuff. You'll go out with him, uh, determine on if you're flatbed, wait for all that stuff, tanker. Um, you'll learn all that good stuff. Uh, well, not at that phase right there. Uh, your PSD phase, uh, you're going to be just um, uh, learning the basics. How to drive, how to shift, um, how to backing up. Um, just And he'll be seeing if you want to take you or not. Um, so after that, you do your PSD stage. Then you'll come out. You, you'll, you'll come back. And you will try to test out and try to try effect it. Um, I'll try effect it, meaning that you pass everything on your test to get your license. So, oh, and your PhD stage, you'll be doing most of the driving. Um, you, your uh, trainer will be in the passenger seat, and you'll be doing most of the driving. Why? Because you're a PhD driver. You're you can learn how to drive. Um, you were going through the cities, you're going through all kind of, all kind of stuff. TNT process is after you get your license. Most likely you'll have the same trainer that you had in your PSD. Now, um, that is, you're going to be team driving. Uh, meaning that when you're driving, he's asleep. When he's driving, you're asleep. Get some sleep. Don't be on the phone back there. Don't be on a game doing things in the back bunk. Get some sleep because you will need it. I did nights. I did nights. And whoo. Whoo. <laughs> crazy. But after that, uh, you'll have a certain amount of miles that you have to drive. Um, I only have to do 15,000 miles because I can't with my permit. No, not a permit. I can't with my license. Um, I think it goes all the way up to 40 or 50,000 miles. Um, so ask questions. Know how many miles that you'll be driving. Um, and just get it done. After you do that, after you do your mile successfully, successfully, uh, I know I said that wrong. Um, after you do your miles right and get it all done, you'll come back to either the Pitton Terminal in Pennsylvania or to the Missouri Terminal in Springfield. Uh, you test out. No, um, you want to test out your upgrade. You'll get your truck. You're on the road. Um, from everything from you putting your application in to getting your own truck could take between three months. Could take that long. Three months. But it's a new career and, uh, just get it done. It's not that hard to do. If this something, if this is something that you want to do, it's not going to be hard. This has to be something that you want to do. Cause worst of all, it, it, like I said, it gets lonely out here. Um, every day I think about my wife. Um, but it's fun out here too. Go look at my other videos. I got plenty more videos about pros and cons about how it is out here. Go look at them. All right. Sports Schmitty, Sports Schmitty. Signing out. Subscribe, like, comment, share. All that good stuff. More videos to come in the comments. Tell me what you want to hear. Alright? Peace. Uh,